just about set to go now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Ryan Nelson. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Bounce to the right. On to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Top of the zone for a strike. And it's one and two. One out, base is empty. Got it, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Two down, nobody on. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. again that one misses, four. and that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Guriel handles the chance. Down in order, go the Braves. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in the desert and on the mound now, Charlie Morton. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider Having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you needed a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Next pitch is outside. That one fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Got him looking. And that's the first down. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Cattell Marte. In the air, left field. Wall gets under it. He's got it. And there are two down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a guy to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, guys get fired up in the dugout, and they want to do the same thing. And before you know it, you oh, start to get base runners on, and you get a big hit, and all of a sudden, you ride that way for a few days and go on a winning streak. That's something they definitely could use. Just off the outside edge. Three and one. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch? Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Foul ball. Yeah. 
starting go. to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And at first, and now it's Christian Walker. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Two strikes. Peterson off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Arizona. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Chase Field, top of the second. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. And here it comes. That one is hammered right field. Carroll going back and caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Here's Austin Riley. Riley is one of those players that made his presence known in the majors right away. He hit a 438 foot home run off of Michael Walker ball. fastball in his second at bat, balls, which strike. is probably the best way to make a first impression as a rookie, boo. Nelson. He isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable, he just hasn't ball. proven that he can do it yet. Three balls, no score strike. here in the second. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. In the air right field. Carroll takes it in for the out. And there's two away. But for the most part with that kind of stuff you expect him to that get to the middle of the ball game. The catcher. Sean so here's Murphy now. Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. What does he need to do in order to get deeper into the game? Well, I'd say it's command of the secondary pitches because when you're talking about turning over the order a second and third time and guys are getting looks. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Lead bottom up. half Lourdes of inning number back. two. Here's the, the left, left fielder. fielder. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Goriel. And a 1-1. One -one. Right through there for a strike. Line drive, and a base hit right there. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks at the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Popped up. Short under it. And there's one away. That is seven. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Man at first one away. And another ball. Defense, 
Comes up empty. That's strike two. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially they burn it. The umpire rolls with him. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Alec Thomas now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the pitch. My drive base here. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Batting done. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Fly ball down the line. And a foul ball. Two on, two outs. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Diamondback strand a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Adam Duvall at the play. Adam Duvall. And he deals. Ripped to short. Sends it to first. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Batting in. The left fielder. Forrest Wall. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Forrest Wall. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. And another ball. Straighten him up a little bit. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand hitter waits. Bears down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for a strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Cool. Now it's Zach Short. Popped up right side. Marte should have it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still no score. Set for the bottom of the third. This is Corbin Carroll. The right fielder. Corbin Carroll was an easy choice for rookie of the year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consistent season that took a lot of drama away from the announcement. The world of baseball knew he was going to win it. Next pitch is outside. And Boo, Carroll deserved the award, no doubt about that. At 22 years old, he had 54 steals and led the league with 10 triples. Made an immediate impact for Arizona and helped lead him to the World Series out of nowhere. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. 
Out to short. Short. Slings to first. They get the out on Marte. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And Jack Peterson stands in. Two outs, bases empty. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count one and two on Jock. And that skips into there. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Murphy throws to first in time. And Arizona is set down 1-2-3. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Back here at Chase Field, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jared Kellner. The pitch. Just missed. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a leadoff double for their first hit of the game. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. That one missed. Fourth inning underway, no score. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Guriel settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure where the clutch actually exists, but you look at it. Oh, now this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Run around at first with one gone. Matt Olson next up for the Braves. The 1-1 is fouled off. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. We usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Back here in the desert, go. and here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Walker. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes.
gets a piece and stays alive. One and two here. And that's down and away. The wind of the pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Lourdes Goriel. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, uh, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. One down, base is empty. Ground ball, Olsen. Steps on first for the out. Now, Gabriel Moreno. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Fastball for a strike. Really good athlete, and many times you talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. The D-backs down by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Stays alive. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Not close with that one. And it's three and two. Three. Swings and misses. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And the Diamondbacks down in order. They still trail one nothing. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And the count is three and one. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Next offering is in for a strike. I got three and two. That's hard hit on the line. Carroll hits the catch and there's one ball. And next for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. Base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth. That one is inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. The bat, the left field. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Forrest Wall. And the right-hander deals. And another ball. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Popped up left side. Sizes this one up. Suarez snags it.
Now batting. Shortstop. Zach. Short. So two down now, and here is Zach Short. Two outs. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Braves strand one, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swings through that. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Jesse Chavez up and throwing. Jimenez getting loose as well. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. Next That's offering upstairs. Through. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. Two up, two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. On the ground, right side. And that is the inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They're down 1 0. Kevin Ginkle takes over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's Jared Kelnick. The center fielder, Jared Kelnick. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Moving in the bullpen, Gavin Hollowell. Up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Number 49, also getting ready. And the 2 2. Just off the outside edge. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. One down, base is empty. And it drops in. Man at first with one gone. Now in for the Braves. Marcelo Zuna. Kicks and deals. Hit hard. That gets through. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. It's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. 
first and second one out. Here's Matt Olson. Right handed reliever. Ball that good. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2 1. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. Well, the third, and he's out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's a speed threat, Corbin Carroll. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And yeah, that's outside. And now three balls and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming up. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. If he were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Up and in, and it's two and one. Way out front for strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Missed with a changeup. And a full count now. Jack Peterson in the on-deck circle. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Hey. Struck him out looking. Here's Jack Peterson. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Next offering is down low. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home run so far. So trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Pitches outside. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Left hand batter waits. And yeah, there's Paul Ford. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's all for Charlie Morton. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. Jesse Chavez taking over on the mound. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. First and second, one out. Christian Walker getting ready to hit. One, two now. 
Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. But no advance from the runners. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. So first and second with two outs. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses there. Now two and two. Two strikes. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Two on, two outs. And another ball. Gabriel Moreno to bat next. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Diamondback strand a pair. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Set for the start of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. And he can't come up with it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Popped up first base side. Moreno makes the grab one down. The right Adam Duvall. And next for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. One run game, one out, one on. Duvall, a swing and a deep drive. Left field. That one carry. And brings it in at the wall. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Now the left fielder, Forrest Wall. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. Thomas gets under it. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. One left for Atlanta. But they're on top. One nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joe Jimenez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The catcher. Yeah, there's a ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a swing and a miss there. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Pierce Johnson, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Lee, the lefty, warming up as well.
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And a count one and two. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And another ball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off with multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas. Two down, nobody on. Found back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side, Albies. Tosses the first, three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for Arizona, and it remains 1 0. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Gavin Hollowell on for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Next offer in there for a strike. That's strike two. The pitch. Not even close there. Full count three and two. Caught him looking for the K. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now in for the Braves, Jared Kellner. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a slow roller. Marte throws the first in time. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Two outs, base is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. Just missed. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Ryan Thompson, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Righty delivers. Do it again. Rip towards third. And it's a one, two, three, eight for the Braves. And the Braves go down quietly, but they still lead it one nothing. Pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Lee. 
These are the spots where Levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Shortstop. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that one is lifted in the air. He's under it. And there's one down. The right fielder, number seven. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Next to hit for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Throw to first is in time. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Cattell Marte up to the plate. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. The pitch. Hey. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in the desert, we go to the ninth. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. So, a man aboard, Matt Olson, the next to hit. Ball to strike, the pitch. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Man at second. Two, two, the count. Ground ball up the middle. Marte oh. throws the first in time. Now one gone in the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Fly ball to the outfield for a sack fly, soft ground ball to the right side, find a hole. He can attack this a few ways, but the one thing he can't do is strike out. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. At the belt and fires. To the right side. And it gets by him. Runner from third comes across, and they take a two-run lead in the ninth. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team with bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. One down. Sean Murphy will hit next. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two 
the one two and another ball. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back base hits. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under him. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks. Number 49. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And now it's going to be Adam Duvall. And he deals. And a foul ball. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Bird gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter. Oh, gets dirty. Throw to second. In time. Got him. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Rysel Iglesias. He's thrown the ball very well overall this Number season. One, He's been six. really tough to get right to. Down. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And now the DH, Jock Peterson. The pitch. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Kelman under it. Makes the grab one away. Now batting, first baseman. He's two outs away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. Base is empty, one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And that one upstairs. Two ball, one strike. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Guriel. That's a base hit. Walker rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score and a 2-1 ball game now. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring in back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So a change being made at first base, and here's the pinch runner, Jake McCarthy. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. The Glacius throw over, and he's back in safely. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Run around the move. Pitch misses. Safe and second with a stolen base. So the tying run at second. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. The 3-1 
in for a strike. Full count. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats. Quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it. One man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now up next for Arizona, a. Eugenio Suarez. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. With the tying run at second, winning run at first. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering upstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's two and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And the pitch. That one just misses. Three and two now. Alec Thomas waiting for a turn at the plate. Big spot. Tying and winning runs aboard with one down. Outside and that is ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Pierce Johnson will come in. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. And now the center fielder, Alec Thomas. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to. This one high in the air to left center. Base hit, one run in already. In comes the winning run, and the Diamondbacks walk it off and win it 3-2. When you're down two runs in the ninth inning, the odds are definitely stacked against you, but they found a way to come up with some big hits. They scored three runs for the win. What an incredible way to finish this ball game. to the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.